close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. If you have trouble staying with the breath, you can use a meditation word alone. Bud in, to out. Buddha. It's the name of the Buddha after he gained his awakening. It's his title, actually. It means awake. That's the quality of mind we're trying to develop, a quality that's awake. Today is the 101st birthday of Ajahn Suwat, the founder of this monastery. And we're indebted to him every day. But on his birthday, it's good to think especially about his teachings. One of his teachings that sticks in the mind was when he was teaching at IMS in Massachusetts. This was 1990. And at the end of the retreat, they asked him, when we go home, how do we practice at home? And his answer was all about observing the five precepts. Now, some of the people got upset. They thought he was looking down on them, that, medit that lay people couldn't meditate. But he was making a very important point, which is that an important part of the meditation is the five precepts in terms of how you're going to practice mindfulness at home, what hours you're going to sit and meditate, how you stay mindful as you wash the dishes, how you stay mindful as you go on the computer. That's something each person has to solve for him or herself alone. But the precepts are across the board, because it's in observing the precepts that we keep the mind whole. We don't do things that we're later going to regret. We don't cause any harm. There are times, of course, when observing the precepts means that we have to make sacrifices, but that can give a sense of well-being as well when you realize that you're not going to stoop to lying or cheating or stealing in order to get what you want. So sometimes you don't get what you want, but you've got your precepts, you've got your virtue, you've got your integrity. Integrity comes from the word integer, it means whole, whole number. You want your mind to be whole without little bits and pieces being eaten out of it. That's when the mind is whole that way as you go through the day. Then when you sit down to meditate and close your eyes, there are not a little, not a little missing pieces in the mind or wounds in the mind that you have to get work around. You look back at the day and you can see that you behaved in an honorable way. It makes it a lot easier for the mind to settle down. So basically what Ajahn Swat was saying, that the number one meditation instruction is start with the precepts. As the Buddha said, concentration nurtured with virtue it has great fruit and great benefit. And that kind of concentration then gives rise to discernment that has great fruit and great benefit, the benefit of release. So it all starts here by how you look after your words and your deeds and your intentions as you go through the day. That's an important part of training the mind. 